Right Wing Watch got some great video here of Donald Trump's VP, Mike Pence, discussing Muslims as a congressman. So let's see what he had to say and see if it lines up with Donald Trump today. There is in my heartland Indiana district, Mr. Speaker, a small mosque in Muncie, Indiana, uh, where each weekend a uh, small community, less than a thousand people of Arabic descent gather to practice their religious faith, each of them contributing in important ways in our community. They reached me in the immediate hours after September 11th and expressed to me their concern as family people for their well-being in the wake of this attack that was unanimously affected by Arab extremists against our country. It was then that I issued a statement I read again today. I said then, the terrorists who attacked the World Trade Center and the Pentagon are not representative of the overwhelming majority of Arabs or Muslims in the United States, and that we could not allow anger at this horrible act to lead us to hate or discriminate against innocent individuals who happen to be of Middle Eastern descent. I said, terror has no regard for religion or ethnicity. If we attack the innocent simply because of their ethnic status, we are no better than the terrorists who attacked us. If we attack the innocent simply because of their ethnic status, we are no better than the terrorists. Wow. He may as well have tattooed on his forehead, not Trump's VP. Hold a big ass neon flashing sign. Don't pick me to be VP. Think about the logical conclusion of what he just said. Did you just call Donald Trump akin to a terrorist? You said we are no different than the terrorists if we discriminate against an entire group of people, an ethnic group, a religious group, based on the actions of the extremists. Well, Donald Trump most certainly is doing that. I mean, he said on his own website, the fucking statement is still up, you can read it. He said, I'm going to do a total and complete ban on Muslims entering the United States. Ban all Muslims entering the United States until we could figure out what's going on. Of course. So, do that. And then recently he actually said, well, if anything, I'm expanding it. I think I'm going to expand it. Expand the ban. So, what Donald Trump is calling for is exactly the thing that Mike Pence was clearly against. Clearly against. As a congressman. Dude, how could you have sold out? Now, I, I want to give credit to Pence for what he said there because that's true. And that's, you know, common sense. Like, oh, okay, let's not blame all Jews for the actions of uh, the Jewish fundamentalists who are settler terrorists in the West Bank. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable thing. Let's not say all Jews are like Netanyahu's Likud that wants to continue, or the Jewish Home Party, which is even right of Likud, which says we want all the land and we want to get rid of all the Palestinians. Uh, yeah, so don't blame all Jews and pretend they all agree with that. And don't say they're all extremists and they're all bad people. Don't say all Christians are akin to the KKK. Uh, don't say all Muslims are like ISIS. Don't say, I'm going to do a ban on all Muslims because ISIS exists and Al-Qaeda exists. Now, that's not in any way to downplay the problem within Islam and fundamentalist Islam, which has a very, very large numbers today. It's a fairly significant minority within Islam where they're fundamentalists. So not to downplay that at all, keeping everything in perspective though, Pence is right. Oh, don't blame all of them. Don't do discriminatory policies based on the extremists. And Donald Trump wants to do exactly that. So what happened with Mike Pence? Well, he got an opportunity to get ahead in his career. Remember guys, Mike Pence wasn't even for Donald Trump. He was for Ted Cruz. <laughs> Now, I actually argue, I think Ted Cruz is worse than Donald Trump for a variety of reasons that I don't want to get into now, but you guys have probably seen my rants on that as well. Um, but he was for Ted Cruz. But as soon as Donald Trump comes along and says, hey, man, look, I need somebody who's going to, uh, you know, make those Ted Cruz voters go, okay, maybe Trump because he picked Pence. Well, 
You pick the guy, and the guy has a track record of saying many things that do not agree with you. By the way, many things also that don't agree with Trump, where Trump is right and he's wrong. So on TPP, for example, Mike Pence is for TPP. Donald Trump says he's against TPP. Well, the rhetoric doesn't match up, and on that one, Donald Trump is right. So Iraq War. You know, Donald Trump today all the time says, I'm against it, I'm against it, I'm against it. Mike Pence was not only for it, he was one of the biggest cheerleaders for it. So that's another one where Trump is right and Pence is wrong. But there are so many issues where they just don't line up, and this is one where Pence is 100% right, or was 100% right, but because he has the opportunity to be VP, he's like, principles, ideals, are you kidding me? Like, I give a fuck? Like, I'm actually, like, I actually have policy substance positions that are non-negotiable that I really thought through that I really believe to my core. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I might be, be VP, mama! So, d Daddy Trump picked me, now I will be subservient. That's what happened here. So Mike Pence is a little bitch. You know, maybe you could actually go back and watch this tape and learn about what you used to sound like when you made a little bit more sense. Though I don't want to give you too much credit because you also did segments about how you don't think evolution is true. So you're still a moron. You were still a moron, but at least on this issue, you were a decent human being. And now that's gone because you signed on to be with a fascist on the ticket.